Good morning, it is Thursday, March 8th, and we're in St. Paul, Nebraska right now. Jenna left to go back to Chicago. Now, me and my dad are headed on a road trip. The inevitable end is Mount Rushmore, but we plan to see a lot of things on the way. Today's the first day, let's go. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Monday. So apparently not only does Nebraska have trees, which I didn't know, it actually has a national forest. I think it's just this. Right here. We are on the highway right now, coming out of Alliance, Nebraska, and on the side of the road, I see something that I have been waiting to see for a long time. This has been on my bucket list for many years, and it's finally here. Car hedge. Alliance, Nebraska. It looks like this. People say that Stonehenge was modeled after Carhenge. I can't really disagree. They both look exactly the same and I don't know which one came first. I want to climb on top of one, but that probably wouldn't be a good idea. There's a pigeon. There's a pigeon. The pigeons are attacking. And of course, the famous Stonehenge dinosaur that we have in Stonehenge in London. Also here. Is there really one in London? No, there's a cupcake and Sean forever. I wonder whether Cupcake and Sean are still together. Nope, 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 not happening. This rental car place sucks. Okay, Dad, I'll see you later. Try not to make fun of Nebraska, but I'll be honest, their, their rest areas could use a little bit of work. The best rest stop we've ever been to. Great place, I come here to pray. Leave a message and enjoy. Okay, onward we go to the Black Hills. I know what you're thinking. Sam, you probably cut out the boring part of the road trip like getting gas. Nope, we're not that good. Leaving the whole thing in. As we get further away from the Nebraska part of the drive and closer to the South Dakota part of the drive, things get more foresty and less plainy. We're actually starting to see trees, we're actually starting to see mountains and rocks. The point is the drive is getting a little more interesting than it has in the first three hours. Okay, so we appear to have made a special friend on the side of the road. Nice to meet you. I'm not really sure what to say to him. He's just kind of chilling out. His head is huge. I've never seen a buffalo in person. Bucket list item completed. Okay, we've arrived at Wind Cave National Park. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect. So the last tour already left for today of the cave. So we can't actually go 
into the cave, but ugh, there's a natural entrance where apparently if you're lucky you can feel the wind coming out of the cave, hence Wind Cave National Park. Here it is, the famous cave. I know this isn't really easy to capture on video, but there's a huge amount of wind coming out of here. I have no idea where it's coming from. It's literally just a hole in the ground. You can't even see down into the cave. It feels like a blow dryer at the airport. Look at that. Huh? Huh? Personally, I'd give the wind cave a 10 out of 10. Some would say it's underwhelming because it was just a hole and we didn't get to go in, but me, it was like nature's blow dryer. I loved it. On to the next thing. So I know it seems like we already had a pretty full day, and that's because we did everything that was on our agenda. We're already at the Super 8 Hotel. We are at where we're supposed to be for the night in Custer, South Dakota, and we're done. There's no other things to do on today's agenda. Tomorrow the road trip starts back up, but tonight we got to the hotel before the sun is even set. It's still pretty high in the sky. I guess the adventure continues tomorrow, but for now, it's hotel time. I come in peace to touch your vehicle.